a Ken Silvestri Broadway Limited Imports. I got the tie on, so there must be a hybrid on the menu for today. Today we have three locomotives, and they're all workhorse locomotives. For a machine to be called a workhorse, it has to be dependable and reliable. And all three of today's locomotives fit that bill. Workhorse number one, the Paragon 4, EMD, NW2, SW7 switchers in N scale. These were built in the late 30s to the early 50s, and approximately 1,775 were built. Okay, these N scale switchers feature Rolling Thunder, Dual Mode Decoder, Switcher Mode, and Joe Goddard's going to talk about the, the Switcher Mode a little bit, All Wheel Electrical Pickup, Die Cast Body with Die Cast Chassis for traction, Many separate applied details such as handrails, grab irons, smokestacks, horn, and bell. Dual and single headlight options accurate for each paint scheme. Prototypical light operation. They'll operate on code 55, code 70, and code 80 rail, and the minimum radius is 9 inches. Workhorse number two, the Paragon 4, Chesapeake and Ohio, K2 Mikado, HO Hybrid. And these ran from the early 1920s till the 1950s in dieselization. And the CNO had 150 of these. All the K2s were delivered with 12,000 gallon, 15 ton capacity Vanderbilt tenders. The CNO quickly realized they would need larger tenders, and most of the K2s eventually ran with the 16,000 gallon, 20 ton capacity, 16 VC tender. We are offering models with both tenders and have selected appropriate road numbers based on the tender assignments. BLI's model is of the K2 locomotive as it appeared in the 1940s. These are quickly recognized by their large Alesco feed water heaters and flying air pumps hanging from the smoke box door. All of these models have handcrafted brass boilers, cabs, and tender bodies. Some of the features are they operate in DC and DCC, built-in capacitor pack, and that's a game changer, pro lighting mode, offers individual control of all lights, Quillable whistle, choice of three selectable whistles, adjustable bell ringing interval for faster, slower speeds, numerous user mappable functions, multiple realistic passenger and crew sounds, grade crossing automatic signal, automatic forward and reverse signal, chuff sound intensity varies with load, individual, adjustable, sound volumes for each effect, and the easy reset button.
Workhorse number three, Paragon 4, EMD, F3s, and F7 in N scale. Question, did EMD's F units spell the death knell for the steam era, or did these first-generation diesels usher in a new era? Depends upon your focus. 5,656 F3s and F7s were built between 1946 and 1953. All 1,500 horsepower, almost all the railroads had them. F units were sometimes known as covered wagons due to the similarity in appearance of the roof of an F unit to the canvas roof of a Conestoga wagon. Road-specific detail options in this production have cab number specific detail. Pilot prototypical for paint scheme. Operating Mars light where prototypical. Small horizontal and large 45 degree number boards. Prototypical operation. Water fill hatch location. Sand fill hatch location. Dynamic brake where prototypical. Cooling fans and exhaust hatch accurate for each prototype. Winterization hatch present where prototypically accurate. Multiple MU door options on front of model. Multiple skirt options above fuel tank. Ladder rest grab irons present where prototypically accurate. Grab iron ladder present where prototypically accurate. Eyebrow grab irons present where prototypically accurate. Roof antenna present where prototypically accurate. Front and rear lift rings. Nose door number plate. Train phone antenna present where accurate. Switcher mode helps to prevent hard coupling. Because the momentum is removed, you can stop on a dime and the locomotive will not keep moving after your throttle says zero. All of our Paragon 4 models right out of the box have momentum enabled. Momentum is there to simulate the tonnage of a one-to-one -one scale locomotive taking off or coming to a stop and therefore there can be a delay between what you see on your throttle and what the model is doing. This is not always desirable, especially if you're working in the yard and doing a lot of switching maneuvers. Therefore, all Paragon 4 models also come equipped with switcher mode. Switcher mode can be entered by setting CV128 equals 3, and you can exit switcher mode by setting CV128 equals 4. Essentially, switcher mode is going to alter four different CVs for you with the change of that one CV. The CVs altered are CV3, which is acceleration delay, CV4, deceleration delay. Both of those are also referred to as momentum. CV6, which is V-mid, it's going to give you a completely linear speed curve. And CV245 is going to disable motor speed smoothing. Motor speed smoothing simply adds just a bit of a delay from one speed step to the next. Set 128 equals 3. The coupler clank gives the indication that we're now in switcher mode. I'm going to roll back at speed step 1. And now I can have ultra fine precise control to stop exactly when I need to. And don't forget, you can 
hit F3 while at idle so that when you roll out, you get that coupler clank simulation. And then you can press F3 again while moving to give as many slack repeats as you desire. So to exit switcher mode, we're gonna set 128 equals four. And now momentum is enabled. Okay, all three of these locomotives are at your dealers as we speak, so give them a call. And thank you again for spending time with us, and until next time, happy railroading.